Okay, that's the lot across the street um, that's being developed and a house is being built soon on it. We are at the end of the cul-de-sac. You can see the neighboring houses are really cute, nice, newer construction. I think for the size of this house, they did a really good job. In 2019, they built this one car detached garage. It's really nice, it's really in good shape. Uh, it's got the hardy plank siding, so you don't ever have to worry about termites or anything like that. This is the cement based hardy plank siding, which is really nice. It's one of my favorites because it gives the house a really nice look, but it has no maintenance except for painting. House is really nice. It was built in 2010. It's roughly 11 years old. It's got a dimensional shingled roof, architectural shingled roof. It's got a ridge vent. It is a gabled style roof. Um, if you watch my other videos, I talk about roofs a lot because it's such a big issue here in uh, Northwest Florida. But um, just to, means a, just a tiny bit difference in your homeowner's insurance when it's gable compared to hip. So basically you've got an open floor plan, hardwood floors, tile kitchen, inside laundry room, nice cabinets, tile countertops, all stainless appliances. Really nice backyard. Brand new fence. Also brand new sod. Um, Really, there's nothing that has to be done to this house. I mean, that's one reason why um, the offers were so good on this property. One thing that a lot of agents are catching on now, which is a great idea, something that I do, is it doesn't matter what the property is really, especially if you're competing in a big market, in a tough, tight market with a lot of competition. You should be writing your offer, offers on as-is contracts, at least for us here. I mean, it's not a big difference. And it just helps the seller when they're looking at offers. Having one that's on an as-is contract is so much better than having our typical contract in this market asking for, you know, repair concessions. You put it on an as-is contract, but of course, you make it contingent, you know, on a home inspection. So it's as-is with the right to inspect. And if you inspect the property and there's issues, there's things that you weren't expecting or more expensive than you thought, then you can simply ask the seller to help fix them or split cost or do whatever you know you can always ask and you have the chance to back out and get your EMD back but writing them on an as is contract right now is huge okay I'll show you the master real quick I won't bother with the rest of the house since it is already under contract but hardwood floors here in the master tiled floors in the master bath and double vanity nice tiled shower tub combo like I said a really cute house and basically under contract within 48 hours over eight showings requested the first day and basically a total of four offers that's the Gulf Breeze market now it's over $200 a square foot a half a mile off Oriole Beach Road in Gulf Breeze, 32563. But great little area, cute house. And one of the other little bonuses that I like is that there's no through traffic. You won't see anybody driving down here unless they're just lost or you know got back in here. But there's no uh, there's no cut through. There's no way off the street except one way in and one way out. So for kids, there's zero traffic, which is really nice. You got the whole cul-de-sac to yourself. All right, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the little walkthrough video. Get a better idea of how crazy the Gulf Breeze market is. It's growing like just, I mean, it's, it's insane. I've lived here 20 years, and I've never seen it like this, even after Hurricane Ivan. So if you have any questions, please give me a call. Appreciate it. Thanks. Have a great day.